My name is Judy Cha. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering and Material Science and also a member in Energy Sciences Institute at Yale's West Campus. My scientific research focuses on making materials at a very, very small scale. So some of the materials that I focus on have energy implications. It's about synthesizing new materials or making no materials but at the nanoscale to look for new properties for energy and computing applications, hopefully down the road. I have been using Thermo Fisher's electron microscopes for my entire academic career. The clear advantage of Thermo Fisher's electron microscopes are that the mechanical stability of the microscope itself, you can do experiments for a really long time without having to worry about degrading the image quality. My name is Ming Li, the director of the uh, Materials Correlation Core. The reason we pick up like some official instrument, the top of the primary reason is the people who either operate behind those machines. Uh, they're fantastic. The focused ion beam that we have at West Campus in Materials Characterization Core. It's a Helios G4 model. It's newly installed, so so far it's been working perfectly. When students see new equipment or new capabilities, they get really excited. I think the exciting part of this job, uh, or something that you feel like you are rewarded, is to see the you know exciting like uh, faces from those uh, users. Fascinating result, results from this machine like E-beam lithography part. This is like so crucial for us. The dual beam system has so many different functions. You just do the slice and the views like for like 3D like objects. You just cut them and you just reconstruct them. It is absolutely critical that the electron microscopes are aligned well and maintained in very good conditions. Good maintenance means good uptime and good uptime means whether or not you can do experiments that day instead of waiting for a week, right, if something goes wrong. When we were trying to decide which company we should purchase focused ion beam from, uh, one concern that we had really was who will be the local service engineer for our focused ion beam and how fast can we get the service and how reliably can we get the service. We also had a, one of the leader in the service department came out and told us sort of the systems that he's built in and the future plans that he's had to sort of try to really ensure us that this is not going to be the problem. And that was really helpful actually for us to feel, you know, safe and feel being taken care of if something happens to the microscope or the focus ion beam that we'll have somebody that can come and uh, fix it. I feel like the best that I work with the graduate student and the postdoc is the energy. I'm a believer that you should pursue an interesting and pressing scientific questions and you seek appropriate experimental tools to answer that question. I think what excites me the most is being able to talk to students and see them grow and have them do new science, answer the unknown questions, right? Uh, or unanswered questions. I think that's really the most rewarding part of this, uh, this job.